Hello, I'm Atrisim, and welcome back to This is the Police. Um, so, so far we've had a little bit of money added to our, like, future pension pot. We've got, like, 7,000, a little bit less, and um, we're aiming for, like, half a mil. So, we've got some work to go. Um, however, uh, we have begun to get more cash from our sources. We, you know, sent a cop to be a bouncer. We sent another cop to, I think, do some sort of martial arts thing. Um, and that did us you know, earn us a little bit of cash. Uh, however, things are getting interesting. For instance, we just turned down Mayor Rogers' um, request, and while I could demand, that we fire all the black cops to solve the racism issue, which I don't think it really works like that, but okay. So let's, let's go to work and get on with our day. Ooh, Why okay. would a man need a barn to store all the stuff you can't bring home? About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even back then, there's something I always kept in the barn. Tic Tacs! I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn, especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. And you brought yeah. them here. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack, I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jack, if I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. My family, my relatives. God, Jack, I don't know who else. Ah. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. Your contract, Frank? Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now is not the time, Jack, please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an inside line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. Hmm. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's ah. the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. Okay, so, um... He's got a contract with the Mafia that he'll, like, do their bidding and be super corrupt uh, for the rest of the year. But he's fleeing now. There's 180 days, or a little bit less, to go. And he wants me to take over the contract. Until the end of the year, and then be basically a uh, um, super corrupt super cop. 
Yeah, um, hmm. If I don't agree, they'll kill him, they'll kill his family, and relatives, and, like, his girls and everything. Um, if I do agree, if I don't know what they say, then they kill me, my wife, wherever she is, uh, my mother-in-law, not too worried about that one, and my kids. Uh, hum, hum, hum. do we have kids? I can't remember. Huh, anyway. Uh, I'm getting old. Um, yeah, this... This is a really tough choice. This is a really, really tough choice. Uh, I think this is the point where, like, yeah, no, this is, like, the, the play two different, like, games kind of, uh, stage. Do I agree and take up the contract and be corrupt? Earn money, but be corrupt. Legal trouble, but money. Money, and they don't kill Kendrick's family and Kendrick and his daughters. But... Trouble? Or I can refuse to help, and then they'll kill him and his daughters and everything, and God knows what they'll do to me. Anyway, I... Uh, now, like, in theory, right? Either they, they kill his family, or they threaten to kill my family, and it's like a, it's a net, it's like zero loss, right? Uh, however, it does stop the cycle. So in theory, I should refuse because they'll kill a family eventually anyway, unless we super corrupt all the time, in which case they'll kill far more people than our families. Um, but I, part of me is really intrigued to see what happens if I agree. And also like, he's in a hard place. He's got like daughters and stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to hate myself for it, but I'm going to agree. It might help fatten our pension pot. I'm not doing it really for the money. Okay. Uh. Give him my phone number and tell him it's done. Don't call me. Don't come to work today. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Time for you to go. Jack. I... Get the fuck out of my nice cozy barn, Frank. At the time, I was trying not to think about what just happened. It was almost too much to take in. I'm probably the most popular police chief in the history of the city, and I have to admit, I've thought about that more than once, sometimes with a little pride even. I just screwed it up. Great. In one of the features they wrote about me in the papers, they said it pretty plain. He catches the criminals. Believe me, high praise like that is unheard of in Freeburg, especially for a cop. And here I am, the person who catches criminals, and I've agreed to help the Mafia, or I'll come home to a bag stuffed with my kid's body parts. Mm. Right before the last hammer falls. Yeah, I've got kids. Hey, okay. remember that cop who caught criminals? It turns out he was a Mafia bitch. And all for the sake of a greedy, corrupt cop who should have fled the country years ago. That sound right to you? No, it doesn't. Now I want to. I want to go back. I want to do something different. Don't, don't make me take it. <laughs> the Siddharth didn't come into work today. What? Uh, that's fine. You're pretty tired. My grandfather's epilepsy and recent seizures have got worse. This happens more often, and they all end up in tears. The doctors say that he needs a new drug that I can only get out of town. I'm the only one in the family who drives. Can I get these drugs today? I'm already short-staffed, but I kind of want to keep you on board. But you can go get them tomorrow. They're not urgent, right? No, I'm sorry. I've already got, like, someone not coming in today, don't I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I feel bad about that now as well. Oh, no, we're not playing any songs. It's content ID just instantly. Right. Every morning there's a dirty, piss-soaked bum sleeping at the cafe. The man refuses to go away and growls at anyone who approaches, scaring all the customers. Uh, let's send... Stovel and Birch. Just try and get Birch up a little bit. Oh, City Hall wants something. 
Oh, no, I can do stuff with City Hall. Okay. Uh, affairs, City Hall, Police Station. Let's look at the Police Station. Birch, can I fire you yet? No. You've actually succeeded in your last one, uh, your last mission. Uh, labor Market. Got a couple of okay ones there. Uh, sorry, three, actually, a hundred. Um, yeah, I'll keep you all for the moment. Oh, I've got separate detective slots. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, I've got six on here, and I've got six here, so we can hire for A shift and hire for B shift. Done. Right, City Hall. So I can request an expansion to officer, uh, staff officer roles, request an increase in the number of detectives, uh, request improved equipment for the SWAT team, or increase in my salary. But I can only do this once every, I think, seven days. I'm going to wait until after the um, retribution I will get for refusing to fire the black officers. Robbery. A witness looked from her window, saw an armed man with a stock in his head enter the nearby liquor store. <gasps> And swap. That's everyone out. That's my weekly salary. Fight all black cops. I haven't done. Fight in a residential area. I don't have anyone to go to it. Yes. Uh, to be fair, I just caught a bomb like. They're not going to be back in time. They're going to be back about five seconds late. Got no one to go. They're beating each other with microphone stands. Oh dear. The shop has two exits from which few people have already fled. Enter the store through the main entrance, sneak up the back door, drive a patrol car right through the front window. That's, that's just a way to get your officers killed. Um, I'm going to sneak up to the back door. The stick-up man notices the police presence and took the cashier hostage. He's holding his gun to the hostage's head, shouting, Back off, or I'll blow his goddamn face off! Meanwhile, the cashier is yelling in unknown language. You in the mask, shut your face and drop the weapon. Yeah! Don't shoot, please! I just need the money! I'll just take a little bit and go! No one's hurt! Shoot the robber. Tell them there's no way out, or, like, go, yeah, sure, you can leave if you release the hostage. Uh, no. There's two ways out of this shop, in cuffs or in a body bag. It sounded like he wanted to leave, like, alive. Sweet. What's this? Jack, this year, the organizers of the Golden Beast Hunt suddenly changed the rules of the annual shooting contest. It now features the teams instead of single competitors. Can you send me two of your finest marksmen? I would love to do well in the competition. Uh, oh, okay. Well, when you get back, we'll try and send someone. What's this? Investigation. Robbery. An antique Chinese necklace was stolen from Bao Liang while she was on the way to the pawn shop. Okay. Proceed. City Hall. Uh, it's a hot one today, and a lot of people are going for a swim. Last week, four people drowned on the beach of Freeburg, and the press was a nut roll. Oh, fine. I'll send, I'll send Birch. Don't screw up Birch. I'm going to be, like, so short on cops today. Okay, I'm going to send Samdi and Grant to the shooting contest. Don't screw up. Yeah, offenders escaped from the fight because I never sent anyone. Ooh, whoops. Come on, not too many events. I've got, I've got only two officers. Robbery. Ooh, I've got new frames. Okay, so she's walking. He comes up on a motorbike. He snatches the purse. Chinese immigrant recently expelled from university. Yeah. Let's, I can't send SWAT. I already sent SWAT once today. You can only send SWAT once. Ugh. Proceed. Oh, what? 
Vandalism and destruction of modern art. I don't have anyone to go to these. No! No, not now. Fender escaped. At least, like, no one got hurt. Did we get him? Offender caught? Yes! Oh, yeah! We did it, boy! We won! Neither ever certainly knows a lot about shooting. Uh, even towards a thing or two. He invited us out to hunt and to celebrate the victory, so we'll be taking the day off. We deserve it. Oh, God. Okay, fine. I mean, the day has pretty much ended, so... Piles of work. Looks like tomorrow's going to be a long day. More like the first of a lot of days. There's just too much going on. Wait, what? What is this about? This seems like a event triggered by... I don't know. Is it telling me something about tomorrow? I don't know. I just got B-shift. You're looking fine. Yeah. Okay. Checkpoint. Tom Blaine, pregnant woman killer, sent to mental hospital. According to Dr. Eleonora Waterbury, Thomas Blaine has a new form of schizophrenia. Mayor Rogers not afraid of the competition. Okay. Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. Uh-oh. He left you this. A man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was talking on a big telephone, you know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. Damn. Okay, let's see about uh. this. Of course, they could have shot them the second they took the photo, but I knew Kendrick and his family were all right. Either way, the message was not that they got out. It meant that I was in. My servitude to the Mafia had begun. I'd only been in my new position five seconds, and I already knew why Kendrick called it a contract. You sound doomed if you call it what it is. A curse. Uh -oh. Boyd. Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like I was a member of your family. Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is immune. I don't talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? <laughs> oh, you'll soon find out all about that. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. You start today. That sounds ominous. Eight in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand, I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? But now I just officially became a Mafia whore. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. But the only thing I can think? What's gonna happen to eight and ten? So friends of mine have asked to help at their animal shelter, they're badly <sighs> The problem is like eventually, even if I like, refuse these requests, then they'll still they'll leave and I I want to keep you on side because you're really good. 
Sure. Today, but only today, I'm being kind. Don't... Don't take advantage of this. I'm warning you, Mole. I'm warning you. Okay, what we got? Please be advised, we're unhappy with the efficiency of pre- Ah, oh, we're cutting the bu department's budget. What? We're advised with the- Ah, oh, because- because I didn't do the whole racism thing. I've got to fire someone. Uh, Birch Jr. There we go. Kua Yin Lin turned out to be a member of the gang known as the Red Masks. He could help you take down the van if you make him an informant. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. That sounds... Okay, right. So you're here. You've got links to these two. And you know this one. And that allows us to get to, like, the top. And if we take them down, we get 20,000 reward. Alright, let's start an investigation into Ning He. Ning He hid the stolen antique necklace. Okay, let's... Ah, I wish I had Mole today. Okay. Armstrong, Debrito. I want you to play by the rules. You're, you're a liability, Armstrong, Debrito. You know, you can't just go around having firefights in the middle of the street. I want you to turn in your gun, and you actually don't do that. I need you to investigate, but yeah, proceed. Uh, now that I've got, like, beat up for that, City Hall, hi. Can I, I, could, I could just ask for another job for my officers, but instead I'm going to ask for an increase in my salary. Because uh, at the early stage like this, it's only day six. If I can get an increase in my salary all throughout the rest of uh, the game, that would be really helpful. I'm just saying. Fight all black cops. Yeah, we failed it. You used to run over to the city. What, to fire black cops? Sugar drink and factory. Attempted murder. A young employee at the factory got into a fight with the manager and is trying to push him into a, bat a vat of boiling chocolate? Okay, uh, Koshi. Take... Suspaki. We're actually going to send uh, a reasonable squad on this. Like, you know, everyone's above average and everyone's above 100. Tempted murders, you know, even if it's trying to push them into a vat of boiling chocolate, no. It's not to be joked about. There's no, like, frames of that yet, so I'm just going to get that to disappear from my messages. Um, take down the gang within the next four days. To prevent people from panicking. Wow, that's... That's a very tight time frame. Because I've got to get to, like, the top person and investigate her successfully. Ah, uh, what? Fender escaped. Suburb. Can I just tell them to, like, redirect? Um, carjacking. Parking lot attendant Burns reports seeing a teenager walking between cars attempting to try handles. Uh, they found the unlocked one and fled before they could be stopped. Okay, let's put Yancey, Kubota, and Austin on that. Okay. Anything else? No? So it's quiet, too quiet. Now at some point someone gets shot. Officers determine the car's look uh, the car thief's location. Overtake the offender and block the road. Overtake the criminal attempt to take him into custody. Catch up the stolen vehicle and open fire. No, that's a little bit too dangerous. Um I would take the criminal attempt to take him into custody. Let's so overtake the fender and block the road. Yeah. Nice. Both of my hundreds are now 110. Hostage situation in the suburbs. A weeping child called insane that someone's holding him against his will. They won't let me go outside. They're torturing me and bullying me. I don't think I can keep going. I want to go outside and see Pete. Uh, this is such a, like a bogus call. Uh, I'm just going to send two officers. I could send four, but I'm just going to send two. It sounds like a bogus call. And if I sent four, like, I'd have no one left. Okay. Please tell me we get some, like, stuff for the investigation. In Casino! 
Uh, angry casino patron claimed that one of the casino girls was hanging around the table, lifted his wallet, and was carrying a couple of thousand dollars in cash and several credit cards. Casino security shoved him outside, saying he was drunk, but the man isn't giving up so easily. Okay, so we should send... See, I want to keep, like, my best people for if we manage to find this gang today. So I'm going to send Purdy and Kabuto. His mum wouldn't let him go out and play until he ate his broccoli. Well, yeah, false alarm. Christopher Sand. Jack, we're dealing with Moran refuses to pay his debts. Says the police will protect him. I think it's time we show him whose side the police are on. Uh, um... Uh, um... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Just a little debt collection. That's fine. Please tell me the investigation's got something yet. No frames. I've got a time limit here. If only I had the other detective. She was amazing. Come on, Mole. Yes! I'm a little bit worried about... Ooh. A sort of a deadly weapon. At a parking lot exit, security guard stopped a suspicious looking van and asked to check the driver's membership card. The female driver reached casually into the glove compartment and pulled out a gun and opened f What? Send, send the troops. Also affairs. Can I like... Uh, no. Like there's, there's something you can do later on, which involves like, if you do dodgy stuff with cops, they can turn against you and so on. You can also like try and bribe them, try and get informants in the cops so that you know, know which ones are going to turn against you, etc. I'm a bit concerned now that I've used Austin for some dodgy dealings. Police cruisers caught up with the perpetrator's van. I mean, shoot at the tires comes after using the bullhorn to order the van to stop. So we're going to, we're not going to try and run the van off the road. It's, it's larger than our cop cars, so it probably will not result well. Let's use a bullhorn, order them to stop. The van takes a sharp turn and crashes the window of a sex shop. Of course it does. A woman exits the vehicle, grabs the shop tent and puts a gun to his head. Throw a rubber sex doll at the assailant. <laughs> Let go of the man right now. Shoot the criminal in the head. Let go of the man right now! Yes! Civilian's unharmed. Sweet! Ooh. Late night. I guess that's what sand meant by have your phone at all times, maybe? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, I've got I've got frames. Right, so he gets there. He goes in. He tries to lock. Necklace. Keeps them available, arranges the sale, and then brings them to the diner. On the day he plans to make the deal, the gang must have an immediate buy for the necklace, so he brought it to the restaurant the same night it was stolen. Um, closed, so maybe he had to unlock the door. Yes! Right, send SWAT. We're going to get this guy. Send our two best officers. A year ago, Ning became owner of the house. The home was listed as a gift on his tax return. Yeah. Do it. Send SWAT. I'm going to take him down. And... Yes! We caught him! Can we flip him? Nice. I can't investigate her today, but I will soon, right? Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll do an investigation, try and close her down in the day. Well done, everybody. That was a good shift. Good shift. Not like the A shift. B shift is awesome. A shift kind of sucks. Racist gangs run wild in city. Investigation into Francis Kendrick could resume. Second town to be built in free work. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think that was fairly good. Uh, a shift kind of sucked. B shift were awesome, as per usual. Uh, but we're going to end the episode here. If you've liked, please remember like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay shiny.
Stay shiny.